This presentation is about QFQ+, Plus, the packet scheduler that replaced QFQ in Linux from 3.7. I will show you the quality of service guaranteed by QFQ+, Plus and the cost in terms of execution time at which QFQ+, Plus provides uh, such a quality of service. In particular, I will show you the results of my tests with a pair of virtual machines, a generator and a sink. The generator sends packets to the sink through a rate limited link. I have limited the bandwidth of this link so as to not saturate the bandwidth of the CPUs of the virtual machines. The idea was to keep the load of the CPUs so low that the results were about the same that one would get uh, on actual machines. To put the performance of QFQ Plus into context, I repeated the same tests also with Deficit Round Robin, which is uh, the simplest packet scheduler available in Linux that can provide strong quality of service guarantees. Finally, uh, in the tests I will write QFQ instead of QFQ Plus, uh, just because uh, um, the code of QFQ has been replaced by that of QFQ Plus, but the name of the scheduler remain the same in the Linux kernel. As for quality of service, I streamed uh, a video from the generator, whose desktop is shown uh, at the left, and played back uh, that video in the sync on the right. At the same time, I ran a workload, a background workload made of 500 uh, UDP uh, sources. The link bandwidth uh, was, uh, in this example, in this test, was limited to 4 megabits per second uh, and a portion of this bandwidth reserved to the video streaming server VLC was limited to 450 kilobits per second. Um, this uh, was uh, about uh, the minimum bandwidth uh, for which uh, the video could be played back without any glitch uh, with uh, QFQ+. Actually, uh, you will see some uh, uh, sort of glitches uh, in the playback, uh, um, but they are uh, due um, to uh, the virtual video card. So this small, the only small glitches that you are going to see, as for example, right now, uh, are uh, due uh, to the uh, virtual video card. Okay, this is the description of the test. Now here is the comparison between QFQ Plus and Deficit Round Robin. QFQ Plus on the top, Deficit Round Robin at the bottom. We can focus on the video playback and we can see that the playback stops immediately with deficit round robin, then it restarts but it stops again. You can also note that image is ruined. Now it is having a hard time switching to the new scene. Okay. Okay, okay, it has switched to the new uh, scene. No problems now because the background is static and hence the bandwidth requirement is quite low. Uh, we can only note that the video is lagging behind with, res with the deficit round robin with respect to QFQ plus because it uh, blocked earlier. Now a new uh, fragment of the video with a higher bandwidth requirement uh, is arriving. Um, as uh, I already uh, showed you with the example before, there are no problems with QFQ+, Plus, whereas with Deficit Round Robin, the playback is about to stop here, the image gets damaged and the playback remains ruined till uh, the end of this uh, fragment of the video. So, to sum up, uh, with the same link bandwidth, the same portion of the bandwidth reserved to the video streaming server and the same background workload, we have on one side a perfect video playback with the QFQ+, Plus, whereas on the other side a seriously flawed playback with deficit round robin. So the next question is, what is the cost at which QFQ Plus provides uh, such a higher quality of service? To answer this question, I ran this second test. Basically, I started a heavy, heavy workload 
and I measured the CPU usage on, uh, on the generator where the scheduler is uh, running. Before starting uh, each test I verified that the generator was completely idle as you can see now by looking at the last column on the right terminal and, uh, and, and that's all. Okay, um, so in this test uh, I control the generator from the terminal at the top left, the sink from the terminal uh, at the bottom left and as you have seen uh, print CPU usage in the right terminal. So this is again the description of the test and uh, here is uh, the comparison between QFQ plus uh, uh, on the top and deficit round robin at the bottom. Now, with respect to the previous example, the CPU usage is printed every 10 seconds to get more stable uh, values. We can focus again on the last column and as uh, uh, we chose the idle percentage and hence uh, uh, for this column higher is better and as we can see the idle percentage with the QFQ plus uh, is uh, higher than with deficit round robin uh, the value is about to stabilize at around 50% uh, with uh, QFQ plus and around 40% with deficit round robin so in this test the CPU usage with the QFQ plus is even lower than with deficit round robin. This apparently surprising result is uh, um, due uh, to the fact that um, the service of QFQ plus is smoother than the service of a deficit round robin and this smoother service is more cash friendly than that of deficit round robin. For, more, uh, for a more detailed explanation of this fact and in general for more details about uh, QFQ plus you can visit uh, the homepage of uh, QFQ plus. Okay, that's all. Thanks for your attention.